video i'm going to show you blender and then a small very simple tutorial of how to make an orange in blender so blender is a free 3d software that you can easily download from your browser uh, link would be in the description so click that install and then run it so let's get started this is the starting page of blender left side a quite a tools ase right side a outliner ekhane shop objects gulo thake listed and oter niche properties panel and machkaner niche dikhe it's the timeline for animation there will also be a cube when you open a new blender file to move an object use the move button and click any of the axis and move your mouse to move it এটা ইউজ করতে পারো উইথ ইউর মাউস টু মুভ ইউর ভিউ ইন দ্য থ্রি ডি স্পেস প্রেস শিফট ডি টু ডুপ্লিকেট অ্যান অবজেক্ট অ্যান্ড দেন ওয়াই ওর এক্স ওর জেড টু মুভ দ্য নিউ অবজেক্ট অ্যালং দ্যাট এক্সিস টু ডিলেট অ্যান অবজেক্ট ইউ ক্যান প্রেস এক্স অ্যান্ড দেন ডিলেট এরকম আরও অনেকগুলো শর্টকাটস আছে আমি ওগুলো স্ক্রিনের এক সাইডে রাখতেছি সো লেট স্টার্ট মেকিং দ্য অরেঞ্জ নাও Open a new blender file and then press X to delete the default cube because we don't need that. Then press shift A to add a sphere. Uh, zoom in and then press tab to go to edit mode. Press C to go to wireframe mode. Select the top vertices and then press X to delete the vertices. Go back to solid mode for a better look. Then to select the top vertices at the rim, press Alt and then select the top vertices. Now we need a thickness to the rim. So press E to extrude and then S to scale it inwards mm, up to this. And then press E again to extrude and then Z to extrude it downwards a little bit. And then we need a face at the middle so press F to add a face. Go back to object mode by pressing tab. Now it's kind of rough at the bottom so we don't want that. Right click and press shade smooth but as you can see we have lost all the edges and we don't want that. So go to object data properties normal and then press auto smooth we have our edges back nice and clean now we need the orange pieces uh, over the orange so go to top view press Z to go into wireframe for a better look uh, then add shift A to add a plane scale it move the square to a place we want eight of these smaller oranges so shape it like one of those pieces press g to move the vertices place it in such a way so that uh, after we add the rest of the eight pieces it looks nice make sure there's a gap between them now this part is not really that smooth so select all the vertices at the top and then loop cut one here and then one here and then move those vertices to make it smooth go back to object mode let's make an array for the rest of the orange pieces go to modifiers and then array if we use the relative offset we're gonna get the arrows in one line we don't want that so we're gonna use the object offset so we need an object at the middle first let's get the origin of our orange piece at the center so right click and then set origin to 3d cursor now let's add an uh, empty there we have to make sure that the scaling of the orange piece and the empty is the same so to look at the scaling of the orange piece press N and then 
it has a scaling of 0 0.396 so select the empty again and set set its scaling to be the same 396 396 now select the orange piece again and then under the object select our empty and the click it up to 8 because we need 8 pieces now if you move the empty we're gonna get rest of the orange pieces so press 45 to rotate it to 45 degrees um, we have our orange piece to apply the modifier press this and then apply now if you want you can delete the empty then delete let's uh let's move the orange a bit downwards and then add some thickness so press a to select all the vertices and then e to extrude downwards e and z to extrude downwards oh okay. yeah that's our orange so let's set the camera now go press o uh let's change the dimensions a bit so we need a floor shift a and then a plane mm, press s to scale zoom in on the oh. so, so to avoid this from happening go to view and then lock camera to view and now you can zoom in okay so this does not have color yet to add colors click the orange and then go to materials new and then let's select a color for it select an orange to see the colors go press z again and then rendered this is rendered view and then we need this one to have a darker orange color and we want the middle part to be white so select the skin again and then press tab to go into edit mode and we want the middle face so to select the middle face go to face select in this corner and then select the middle face and then add another material this one would be like slightly yellowish white and then hit assign boom oh, so that's our orange if you now move the orange it's gonna move alone so we don't want that so to attach this to select the oranges and the skin and then press ctrl p and then objects now if you move the uh, skin part the whole thing is gonna move so let's so maybe rotate it sit okay. mm. rotate it in the z-axis yeah, that looks nice yep. okay so there is our orange you can change the plain color as well select a slightly orangey color and then boom and now you can render this out by pressing render and then render image and then boom that's your orange so on part two i'm gonna show you how to animate this bye